Did you hear that? Hear what? Was that someone else in the cave? Let's go and check, shall we? Uh, who are you? Oh my god. Is that a human? A human man. How did you get in here? You got lost. Oh no. Oh, how unfortunate. But don't worry, you cute little thing. I will take good care of you. Wait, how come you get to keep him? Yeah, you can't just claim him. Well, I did see him first. No, no. I think he'd be much happier with me. I can look after him much better than you can. Isn't that right, darling? Hey! What about me? I'm obviously the best choice to look after him. I know way more about humans than either of you do. Oh, please. You only grew out of our next dump, what, a few centuries ago? When that knight tried to slay us? What do you know about humans? Uh, a lot, actually. Just because I'm the youngest head doesn't mean I don't know anything. Really? I don't think so. I was grown 300 years earlier than you. I have met way more humans than you have. Oh, yeah? How many? Well, aside from that knight who tried to slay us, at least two more than you have. Uh, such down, you two. I am the original head here, and I've been around for centuries more than both of you. I've met at least four humans, so I am obviously the expert here. Oh, really? So how do you propose to look after him? Well, I know they need to eat and drink water. And, uh, we probably need to get a little cage or something for him to live in <laughs> to stop him from escaping. Um, we can get him a little bowl with some meat and water to eat from. He's not an animal, he's a human. He needs to be out in the fresh air. Not kept in a cage like your pet rats. I'm pretty sure... Humans are supposed to be free range. I think I read that somewhere. Both of you, shut up! You're scaring him! You want me to take care of you, don't you, sweetie? I will get you a nice leash and take you out for plenty of walks outside and get you the best food. Don't listen to these two. They have no idea what they're talking about. They're too old to know anything about humans these days. Hey, I'm not old, you little brat. I'd cut your head off, but knowing my luck, I'd just end up with two of you. Mm, now, little thing, just ignore these two and come with me, and I'll lock you up in my pet cage. You can just lock him up. Humans don't work like that. Besides, he wants to come with me. Don't you? He can stay with me in my bed. And I will cuddle up to you. All night. <laughs> A human in our bed? <laughs> I don't think so. There's hardly enough room for the three of us. Oh, well, we can't continue on like this. Look at him. He's barely even said a whole word this whole time. Humans can talk? Ugh, that sounds annoying. 
Well, we could always gag him. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. We are not gagging him. Cut it out, you two. Look how scared he is. All right, all right. Well, how do you propose we decide who gets to keep him, then? We could always ask him. Ask him? <laughs> oh, no. That sounds like a silly idea. Hmm. What if we... share him? Share him? Hmm. Yeah. We can always take turns looking after him. After all, we do share the same body. It's not like we can split up to look after him. Yeah. That sounds fair. Hmm. Alright. I suppose that makes sense. Mm, well, what are we gonna do with him now, then? Let's cuddle him. <laughs> You'd like that? Wouldn't you, darling? I suppose it would help him relax. Mm, yeah. He does look like he could use it. Cuddle? <sighs> well, I suppose we can. Come along, little thing. Lie down on the bed here. Get comfortable on our chest. We're going to help you relax. There's nothing to worry about. We'll keep you safe. Just close your eyes and rest a while. You'll feel much better afterwards.